but some of the challenges that India is facing. Uh, first, I'll talk about some of the near-term challenges. The rapid credit growth in the last cycle led to huge built-up of the NPAs in the bank's balance sheet. So today, the, the NPAs in the bank's book are almost like in double digit, 10 to 11 percent of the GDP. But government, the Reserve Bank, and the banking sector have worked hard over the last few years. I talked about the insolvency and bankruptcy code. Uh, the judicial system is working overnight, is working over the weekends to, to ensure that some of these assets get, we, we, we find a resolution for some of these NPAs. And then India is moving in a very, very right direction on, on, on this part. But this is, a, this is a challenge, because if you have over-levered corporate balance sheets. If you have NPAs, then it's difficult to start another investment cycle. The another challenge, at least in the near term, is crude oil price. I always say, whenever oil boils, India gets the heat, India takes the heat, because we, we import one and a half billion barrels a year. So a $10 increase meaning, $15 billion of outflows. So it impacts current account deficit. It impacts either consumer wallet, I mean, by paying more, or government's wallet. If government is subsidizing the, the petrol and diesel prices, it impacts foreign exchange reserves. It impacts corporate profitability, who's using oil or oil, whatever, produced as, as a raw material. So it impacts India from a macro perspective very, very uh, negatively. I mean, it, it, it depends on the call that you have on, on the oil prices, but maybe I think if oil goes to, let's say, another 10 or $20, it will impact India's macro, at least in the, in the near term.